everyone, it is me, Samantha. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new episode of the Decades Challenge. Today we are stepping in with Nellie and her household and I'm pretty excited because I really can't remember the last time I played with this household. Um, I have noticed here that Vivian is a little... Uh, a little in the nude so we're gonna go ahead and throw some clothes on her really quick <laughs> so just a quick recap of this household this is Nellie Stokes home she was one of the OG Dempsey kids and she lives here with her second husband Gage her teenage love and also her son Jamie now she also did have a daughter uh, by the name of Evelyn, but unfortunately Evelyn did pass away during the Korean War. Vivian is her uh, her mother-in-law from her first marriage. <laughs> so once again, a kind of a complicated family, but we love it. And here is Jamie Kins. Now Jamie is so cute, so handsome, and we love him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> So if you guys are curious about the ages of the Sims and the years that they were born, Omar, our wonderful love Sim family member and uh, my personal assistant, <laughs> he has gone ahead and written down all of the ages of the main characters on the most recent decades video. I will go ahead and pin it here. Uh, but yeah, so that'll kind of let you keep track of where everybody's at. But Vivian is definitely Ugh. getting older in years and we probably Man, won't have her body. with us much longer. It says here that Gage is about to go to work. Gage is doing really, really good. He is a lieutenant. He is... It, maybe he's not doing really good. Well, he's got $123 an hour he makes. Oh my goodness, look how much money this household has. 248000 Wow. You know what? Nellie has done pretty good for herself. She's like, I know. I got to date the cute hot mob uh, bus when I was young, and now I have a responsible man that can protect me as an older person. <laughs> Nellie's always been a little bit um, high class, I will say. But we are here today because it is time for us to focus on Jamie. Now, Jamie is very much uh -huh. like Gage. Gage is a police officer. Jamie, as a child, was very conflicted with his father's behavior and his sister Evelyn's obsession with his father. Evelyn, his older sister, always really admired her father. She really liked the freedom his lifestyle offered and she liked being spoiled. She was daddy's little girl. She loved getting everything she wanted and desired. And um, Jamie never really liked that about his sister or about his father. So um, Jamie's father is um, James Albert Busby. So before World War II, Nellie and James separated because um, James wasn't being faithful and he was getting back into the crime life. And Nellie was really hoping for him to, you know, get get away from that because they had children now and she was trying to um, have a more simple life. So the two kids, Jamie and Evelyn, kind of were split. So Jamie really agreed with his mom. He didn't like how his father was speaking with her, his mom, and he just wasn't being a very nice man. Whereas Evelyn was getting everything she ever wanted. She was daddy's little girl. He would buy her all of the things. And so she really loved the lifestyle that um, James provided. Now, now um, Evelyn did go off to the city for a while. Uh, things didn't quite work out for her there. And then she ended up having to go to the Korean War where unfortunately she did have death by combat. She did pass away in the war. Um, so now all that's left in Nellie's line right now is her son, Jamie. And she remarried Gage, her uh, teenage love, her first love from Strangerville. And, you know, he was a police officer. He was uh, established. He had a home. He wanted to care for Nellie and her, her uh, son. And so Jamie became really close with Gage. So I would say that Jamie definitely views Gage as his father more than he ever did with um, his real father. But anyway, so over the years, Gage and uh, Jamie Ooh. have gotten really close and Gage has been a huge inspiration for Jamie. 
So Gage is a police officer, he's really good friends, and he is a caregiver for Jamie. He was also part of the Scouts where he was gaining ba badges as a kid, and he had really good grades. So he's overall, he's just a really good guy. So he is an adult, a young adult now, and he is probably gonna want to move out on his own. So I definitely think that it's time for him to move out. I don't know, I didn't really plan to today, but now I'm thinking, you know what? He's about to get a new job. So we'll probably move him out today, but we're also gonna have Jamie join a career because it is time for him to enter into the Police Force Academy um, because that's he's very inspired by Gage and that's what he wants to do. So we're gonna go ahead and have him apply for the detective gig. So he's entered the detective career. Jamie is now an officer at the police station and he starts tomorrow at 8 a.m. Uh, let's see here. So he's starting at $28 an hour. Wow, that's a really good starting gig. He needs to go to a crime scene and go on patrol. So we will go to work with him tomorrow. So today, I guess we need to figure out where he's going to live. I think he would stay here in Willow Creek. Okay, so this is the map for Willow Creek. We've got Emma over here and Gianni. This is probably the more like bougie area of town where the politicians live. This is the more modest area of town. That's the church that Emma got married at. Oh, we haven't been there in so long. These houses are really bougie though. He would not be able to afford one of them. So I might replace it with a more affordable home. So this would put him right next door to the Meads. This one's a little too. I think we're gonna go here because I like the potential of having a little bit of a bigger lot that I can build on later. This one's cute. Is this? This is really cute. It's only 20,000 too. Let's see if we can place this on the lot. So the front entry of his house would face this side of the street at least. And then he's got his little backyard. That's cute. This is perfect for him. But Jamie's gonna go ahead and talk to his mom and just tell her, you know, like, Mom, I found a place. Um, she's told him in the past, you know, if you find a place, you let us know and we'll help you get it. So he's gonna tell her, you know, like, there's a really great place over by Aunt Elsie's house, so it wouldn't be far. Um, and it's pretty affordable. It's a starter home, but I think it would be perfect for me. So Nellie's like, oh, yeah, I think that if you're interested in that, we definitely can help you figure it out. Crin. To go bore. So yeah, so I think that that'll be good. And it looks, look how close he is with his mom. They are so close. He's close with both of them, but he's really close with his mom. It gives him the option to become best friends. This is a solid relationship built on trust and great memories. When Gage gets home, they will um, all go over and do the move. And I'm sure that they'll give him a little bit of extra money. So he's just gonna visit with his grandma and his mom until uh, Gage gets off work. Oh, look at that, Lily. Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think it's gonna be great for you. Aw, so Lily and him have had kind of like a little budding thing going on, but uh, Jamie doesn't get along with her brother and Lily's kind of a more shy, reserved girl. So I think that out of respect for her and for Jack, he kind of keeps his distance right now. Uh, let's see here. But you can see that he really likes her. They get along really well. She's a good sim and she's clumsy, which is adorable. We love that. Um, they have a little bit of a romance bar. So anyways, she is super cute and we will definitely be seeing more of Lily. But you can see here that him and Jack do not get along. They are neighbors and he despises, they despise each other. Things have gone awry with this relationship. Can it be salvaged? Debatable. <laughs> So yeah, wow. Gage is home, so he makes good money. Look how handsome he is too. He has aged well. Mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Look how fabulous he looks. So suave. Romance. I want her to give him a big old kiss. Cause I haven't seen these two kiss since their wedding probably. Look how cute she is. She gets all dressed up for him to be home. Nellie's always been such an elegant lady. She's like, oh, hello, honey. Welcome home. Luna. I've cooked you dinner. Ooh. She's blowing him a kiss. Look at these two cuties. I'm so glad they're together. Oh, wow. That's not just a kiss. That's a, that's a kiss. She's like, oh. <laughs> Cutie. But anyways, so Chocolate Nellie's going to tell Gage, you know, Jamie's found a place that he would like me. to buy. So we should Minnesota go over there today and help him with that. Blown so, a 
Is he done in the bathroom? Okay, he's done in the bathroom. He loves his grandma. It's, I like the thing. Droba, so droba, much. droba. But See it is Geneva time boo. for him to get out on his own. <laughs> Look at Nelly yeah, doing her do. best to become a 1960s housewife <laughs> cooking. That is so. She's grown so much as a person. Okay, so Jamie's gonna be out on his own. The house is gonna be like 50 or 20 something thousand. So I'm gonna give him 50,000. So I really, like, they really don't need all that money. Alrighty, we are here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna change the layout of this a bit. So there's mom. She's like, let me see this place. I will inspect. So everybody's yeah, here, they're all checking out the house. There's a little shopping center across the way, so I'm sure he'll be able to get like his groceries and things here. Okay, so he's got all of his basic needs cared for. It's not great, but it's something. We can keep him alive. And he's got a pool so he can do his fitness. So I think he is going to, he's tired and he's hungry. So I think I'm actually going to, can I send everybody home so they leave me alone? I'd send, there we go. I don't want to be rude, but <laughs> Gage, can you leave? Thank you. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out. So the parents have seen the place. Grandma, everybody's seen the place. But it's his first night in his own home. Jamie's going to go ahead and go to sleep early because he's got his first day on the job tomorrow in 11 hours. So he's going to go to sleep. Um, I can see him being an early riser because he obviously um, likes to do his workouts and stuff. Okay, so we're going to wake him up. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. He's fully rested. I'm sure he's probably really nervous, but also really excited. He's been preparing for a long time. Like, he's been in training um, and has been, you know, really admiring Gage for a really long time. So I'm sure he really has romanticized the idea of what it's like to be in the police force. So I am curious to see um, how his first day goes. I'm nervous for him. We're going to join. Yay! First day, Detective Jamie on the job. Welcome to the force. It's time to start fighting crime. First things first, use a computer to get a case assignment. Okay. First off, let's just look at Jamie Poo in his new uniform. Oh, look at his little hair hanging. He's so cute. What a little handsome guy. <laughs> He's actually very big. I'm like, he's Lao Cow. <laughs> okay, so we need to get a case assignment. He's so happy. Um, I'm probably going to have to switch out these computers to be typewriters. Um but we'll see so get a case assignment i'm so excited i've always really wanted to play through um this career so i'm pumped like my one of my favorite things to do is watch true crime i just love like how police catch bad guys i find it so fascinating what's our uh, boss look like does he look like a nice guy he looks kind of scary wait is that the guy that just asked our grandma out richard no okay he's our chief so we're getting our case assignment. Assist with a crime scene investigation. You need to learn the ropes before you can handle running your own case. You'll start by assisting a veteran detective with a crime scene investigation. Use the crime map to travel to the scene. Okay. I wonder if we'll get to work with Gage. So here's the crime map. Travel to crime scene. Oh my gosh, we're already on. Oh, I'm so excited. Crime scene. At a crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect. Investigate damaged or stolen objects and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also, talk with witnesses to get a report about what happened. Okay, so it's a rainy day in the city. Oh, this must be a big crime. Look at all the cops. Ooh, she's cute. Hey, Lana. Okay, so here's our co-workers. Okay, okay. Wow. I feel like she's guilty. She looks like she's the one that caused things. She's trying to steal people's purses, I think. That looks like a clue. Search for clues. Take crime scene pictures, get a report from a witness, and collect clues. So these definitely, I think this was an arson. Look at this. This was definitely a potential fire. Somebody tried to burn these people's house down. Look at that. That's crazy. All the cops are doing their jobs. Oh, something flashed. There's a shoe here. Collect evidence. Wait, take an evidence pe picture and then collect the evidence. Come on, Jamie. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. Here, let's go and take a witness report. Barga, Stumasatura. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna keep browsing. 
There should be oh. more clues. It's a gap, okay, so oh. he's investigating. Oh. He's taken a witness report. So now we need to collect clues. Oh, we just found clues. Look at this. So much bad stuff just happened. Take evidence. We gotta take pictures. What's up, Tim? Ah, Bombadoy. Oh, see, someone tried to burn the fridge down. There we go. Return to the police station. Okay. So we've done our job. Okay. Now that you've gathered evidence from the crime scene, it's time to start tracking down a suspect. Use the chemical analyzer and computer to evaluate the evidence you found at the crime scene. There's a chance you'll discover some information about who committed the crime. Okay. So successfully use the chemical analyzer. I think that's upstairs. Nope. Ooh, we got a gym. Nice. Jamie will be happy about that. Analyze the evidence. There we go. Okay. Ah. So now he's doing all these super important things. So we acquired the logic skill. Nice work. Analyzing evidence from the crime scene allows you to, to discover clues about the suspect. Once you're running your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence before you can find the suspect. For now, use a computer to file the crime scene evidence so that a senior detective can take over. Okay. So, is he just going to do that on his own? No, he went to go browse the web. Dude, get your head in the game. Okay, we need to file crime scene evidence at the computer. Wow, this is a lot of work. <laughs> oh, look, there's Gage! It's cool seeing Gage around the office. They'd probably go for lunch together. Okay, so he's filing the evidence. Good work. The evidence you found will be helpful to the detective in charge. Once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow you'll learn the next steps in a case. For now, take some time to help process criminals at the station. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is fun. Grunushka, so we're taking his fingerprints. Cool. We gotta take a mug shot. Uh-huh. And then we have to search him. Oopa. I don't think we're gonna have time to talk to our chief or exercise. Uh, we can search him though, maybe. We might be able to get that in quick. <laughs> Wow, look at that. End of ship. Jamie did a good job today. The citizens of his community will surely appreciate the desire to protect and serve. $252. Yay, Jamie. Back home from his first day of work, he is feeling uncomfortable from being up close and personal. Unfortunately, cleanliness isn't a requirement for being a criminal. <laughs> and I don't have a home phone yet. They did not have cell phones in the 60s. So I'm going to have to try to see if I can find like a mod for the home phone or something oh, so uh, jamie's gonna go ahead and he's actually got a call <laughs> from gage and gage is explaining to him that he got another call from willie's residence and he said you know now you're working Kay here West. you might want to go you know, check in on Lily, as opposed to us sending Toy over Moche. someone you know, so you just stop Capa by there Benchel. off the clock and just make sure Bar everybody's okay over there. so <laughs> jamie's like oh not again. So we're gonna go over, we're gonna check on Lily and make sure everything's okay. All right, so Jamie has shown up here to check in on what's going on. Clearly everybody's out of the house. It looks like everybody's doing okay right now. Jamie is pretty aware of the situation here because Lily has filled him in for a while. Uh, so this here oh, looks, looks like everybody's fighting. Okay, so there's a lot of chaos happening here right now. <laughs> um, it looks like Jack is trying to calm down Mary um, and figure out what's going on over there. Uh, this here is Bruce. This is Lily. Look, he's checking on his sister to make sure she's okay. So Jamie's here to try to calm Bruce down and try to, you know, gain control of the situation. But I don't think that Jack would be overly pleased to see him here. I think Jack would be like, you know, I've got this handled i really don't need you to be in my family's business you need to leave and jamie's just gonna say to everyone like well somebody called the police and i'm the police now so i'm just trying to check in on the situation and make sure everybody's okay so jamie's doing the best that he can with the situation um he is feeling a little stressed out and angry clearly 
So I think that it's hard for Jamie to not get a little bit um, personal about it because he, you know, cares a lot about Lily. And the family isn't doing so well. So he's trying to calm Bruce down. He's going to say to Jack, you know, like, I'm just here because I, we were called. I'm not trying to interfere myself with your business. Jack does not look super impressed. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to try to find calm again. He's going to be like, listen, you know, I'm not trying to interfere with your family. Clearly your dad has been drinking again. And Jack's like, I don't need your help. Like, I can handle this myself. This is my family. You can leave. And Lily's like, Lily would probably be trying to get in between both of them and try to um, be like, you know, Jamie's just trying to help him. Can you please, you know, leave him alone and just, like, let him be okay? So he's going to do small ta talk, and I think he's just going to check in with Lily and be like, okay, well, clearly your family doesn't want us here or me here. Are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. So she's trying to keep a smile and pretend everything's fine for her family, but Jamie's really mad because Jamie's like really wants Lily to be in a safer environment, and unfortunately Bruce is not. Um, this is not a place for her to be, and Jamie knows that. So he's really frustrated, and he's trying to be respectful of Jack because he's like, I understand as the man of the house, you wouldn't want somebody else getting involved in your family business. But he knows that Jack is having a hard time standing up to his father, Bruce. And Bruce is ruling this house with an iron fist. So Jamie is leaving pretty angry. Unfortunately, this is not a great end to his, you know, really good day that he had. And he does have to work tomorrow. So he's just going to go back home. But I know that he's pretty upset. While Jack... Okay, so these guys don't even have a bathroom or a bed. Do you know how horrible I am that this is the house that I've had this family living in for so long? <laughs> no wonder Jack's miserable all the time. We don't even own a toilet. <laughs> he's pretty angry and mad. Um, he's not very happy about everything. Can you not go bathroom? Um, so I think he's going to go ahead and he's actually going to head out. He's like, I can't be around everybody. Ooh, him and Betty. I forgot that they had a whole thing. So Jack is just really upset. He's angry with his father. He's embarrassed that Jamie's getting involved and that he's not capable of protecting his own fam, like his sister and his mom. So he's like, I'm just going to go out and grab myself a drink and just clear my head because I can't be around these people right now. Okay, so Jamie's here. We're going to, or Jack is here. I'm going to have him um, order a drink. Uh, we'll get him an EAPA. <laughs> and he just needs to cool off. Although he's pretty happy right now. Great for an atmosphere. So I think he's really happy to be away from the house and be somewhere new. And just away from his family. Tina. And while he's here, he's actually, oh look, he's going to run into Bailey, which is pretty exciting. So Bailey and him served in the war, in in the Korean War, so they do know each other, even though technically it says that they don't. Look, they can share war stories. That's so cool. No, you can't go bathroom. you got to share war stories. Oh, Ooh, it looks like these two are not getting along right now. So I think Bailey's come out too to let loose. You know, she's been through a really hard time from the war. So it's an unusual friendship, but it's a friendship that's started. Oh, look at those two cuties on a date. That was a little flirt. Um, but these two have become friends based on, you know, shared experiences within the war. Um, so I think that it's just nice for him to get out and be able to talk with anybody who isn't his family right now. Um, so I think that this will be a really cool friendship that these two have. I think that they both are probably the most opposite Sims in the entire world. And had it not been for the war, they would probably never even speak to each other, let alone be friends. Um, but I think that it's good for him to have somebody outside of his family that, J uh, that Jack can talk to. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to leave this episode here. I hope you all enjoyed watching Jamie start his life and i'm really excited to see where that goes um so i really hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the decades epi uh, decades challenge next week we will be checking in on joey and diana and their new babaloo super excited about that and i hope all of you are too 
uh, go ahead and leave your name suggestions for boys and girls in today's episode so we can name it when uh, name the baby when I go to film. And yes, yeah, so until next time, everybody, thank you so much as always for watching. And I'm going to go ahead and say bye for now.